Bristol Rovers were hoping Mark McGee's arrival would have an immediate impact. And their new boss named an unchanged side after the Pirates' creditable draw against high-flying Crawley. The visitors seemed inspired by the sense of occasion in this West Country derby. Chris Zabrowski threatened to give Rovers the lead. As for second place Cheltenham, they were chasing their fourth successive league win, but were far from their best in this game. Indeed, the Robins were fortunate to go into the break on level terms. Zabrowski hit the frame of the goal shortly before the interval. Cheltenham made a positive start to the second half. Here, Aaron Downs was relieved to see the ball go wide after his attempted clearance. But Rovers soon began to control matters once more. As ever, Zabrowski carried the greatest threat. And the former Torquay man finally got his name on the score sheet on the hour. Zabrowski beat Scott Brown to claim his first league goal since September. The Cheltenham keeper managed to deny Zabrowski again three minutes later, but Elliot Richards stole in to make it 2-0. The hosts rallied late on, but weren't able to gain a foothold in this match and ultimately went down to their first league defeat in 11. So, a perfect start for McGee as Rovers moved nine points clear of the relegation zone. Poor day. Well, that's all I've won. Um, just not good enough. We got mugged off second half. We, we didn't do what we do best and uh, you don't do what you're good at. This league's a tough league, you get, you get, you get caught out. We, um, it wasn't happening in the first half performance, there was no energy, no tempo to us. And um, fair play, you know, Bristol Rovers, I've told you, they've got good players. We set ourselves up in a shape that we thought would be difficult for, for them to beat us. Um, we didn't have a lot of options on the bench, so we felt that the 11 that started, maybe with the lad Gill, if we were going to win the game, um, that was the 12 that we were going to do it. So we didn't have a lot of options. Um, so there was a, a danger that you know we competed and we were tight and that we were disciplined, but we didn't score and that eventually they'd wear us down as the game went on. But we got the first goal, which was vital. Um, so we went on from that second goal. It doesn't exactly kill it off, but you know at two 0 you know the way that things were, it was going to be difficult. For them.